Good evening, folks. FBC here. And dad blam it. I recorded two oil changes this weekend, but only one made it up. I have no idea what happened to most of the film on that second one. But probably a good idea it didn't come through anyway. And then I recorded a little bit of me out there trying to clean out my shop. Same thing. All this newfangled camera stuff, me trying to learn it has been kind of crazy. And if it ain't on a phone, I gotta learn it. So I recorded all of it on a GoPro 10 and then I got it all transferred. But what happened to it, I have no idea. Anyway, it's all good. I think I figured it out. So maybe better luck next time. As a matter of fact, I'm recording on the GoPro 10 right now. So I hope it makes it over so I can post this. But anyway, we had a pretty rough night of storms last night. And now they're talking like we're going to have um, a little wintry mix coming in down here in Texas again. Which is... Phew, I don't know. In one way it doesn't matter and in another way it sucks because I'm ready for spring. Yes sir I am. But we'll take what we get because we got no choice. But back to um, my videos. Yeah I'm trying to get all this down and try to get away from using the phone which the phone's a great option and I like it because it's easy. But, you know, just trying to upgrade the quality as well as editing. Man, editing on the GoPro Quick, uh, cap cut. I'm fixing I've open shot as well as on photo editor on my laptop. I'm trying to find my best one. Because, you know, I want to be a little more creative with being able to edit. So, that's a learning curve you got to deal with. But, anyway, been working on the outside shop trying to get it cleaned up. Because uh, it was in total chaos. Uh, after Christmas and some of the other things I've been doing out there, it was just strewn all over the place. So, I did get a little bit of it cleaned up Sunday. I uh, still got a lot to do to get a little more organized, but um, as well as inside this shop. This shop's got a little disorganized too after some of the shirt runs that uh, we just went through. Got a little break, got some more orders coming, but I need, to, I need to definitely get this place picked up some. As well as I got some of my own stuff coming again too, so I'm looking forward to that. And I'll probably do a video of me making some of my own merch and hopefully you guys tune in and watch it i know a lot of you guys uh use different um websites uh whatnot to to buy your merch and that's cool fine and dandy um you know but uh that just i was thinking the other day i was like man if i could gain a little more of those youtuber channels and supply them with their merch and i was kind of trying to think of a way even possibly designing a website to each specific channel and then you could come to that that channel or that site and buy and i was like man i could probably handle all that in house and you know i'm just thinking because that's just another opportunity and avenue for myself to generate income um, like i said before i'm full-time employed and my side hustle t-shirt hat customization promotional stuff is is a side gig but i'm leaning towards the idea of trying to break away from my current full-time job um and getting away from that, doing doing the um, promotional and shirts, all of that good stuff as full-time as well as even 
hopefully incorporating YouTube videos with that. So, I mean, that's just, just me thinking, my idea, head turning. Um, there's a reason to all that madness, you know. I got to be careful with what I say and how I talk. Cause who knows who's watching this but you know just just ideas floating around but um if you guys ever want to look into that kind of stuff or if i could ever help you with any of it be sure and reach out to me you know contact me on my email or um contact information definitely leave a comment if you can't find it I'm, i think it's on there i try to put it up for contact business purposes but my channel's too new right now, and I'm limited on some of the stuff I can put out there and promote until, you know, I guess it grows and meets a certain criteria. So, uh, with that, I'll just keep chugging along and hopefully, but, you know, leave a comment. Leave a comment in one of my videos or whatnot, and I'll do my best to get back with you. And, you know, if y'all are interested in anything, but... That's just a thought, you know, I'm like to move on with it, but yeah, um, hopefully this week I can try to come up with uh, another video to put out and of some sort in nature. I know my oil changes in my old Ford and in my Tundra, they were all right. You know, it was just something I was trying to do and stay busy at the same time on the weekend. Cause it sure was nice this weekend. Hopefully that nice weather will be coming up here before long. But um, anyway, working out in this shop, trying to straighten it up too, messing with my cameras that I've got, messing with editing software. That's pretty much what I've been trying to, to do and figure out, you know. I, I don't like doing a lot of recording and then turn around and transfer the uh, videos and then what the heck happened? It didn't go there or, of course, I probably deleted some of it on my own accord, but um, yeah, that's my bad. Rookie, rookie mistake. But boy, howdy. I am, been following a couple of other channels. Most of you guys follow the Crockers and, and Backwoods and, and Buck and, and Corey and Cynthia Davis, you know, I really, really like watching all these channels and, and it's just, it's cool. Um, hopefully mine will grow into something like that one day. But uh, anyway, back to this, whatever you want to call it, video of just getting out there with you guys. I was kind of thinking of doing a lot. Well, maybe not a live, but I don't know who all would get on it, but I'd like to do a video with my wife one day soon. She's a little more media savvy than I am because uh, she does a lot of um, outside work in, in local community radio and whatnot. And so behind a microphone, she's good. Um, even on the, one of the streams that they run on Facebook, live stream her right there on For All to See on one of her shows. She's pretty good, and if y'all ever want to catch it and tune into it, I think I've mentioned it before, no judgment here. That's her talk show, radio show, and it's actually about to be syndicated in the Dallas-Fort Worth market, which I'm pretty proud of her for that. That's from a local little small town community radio to go to a, a DFW, a larger market, and be syndicated. That's pretty, pretty impressive pretty good and I'm proud of her and she's an ama she's amazing at what she does and the topics she covers and you know just like the name says no judgment here no judgment from whatever your background is or whatever your past has been but she likes to share it with others others that are possibly going through and battling some of the same issues. That's that's the goal of that channel, uh, just to share with others and let others know you're not alone, you're not dealing with it alone. Somebody else has gone through it, been through it, conquered, succeeded, and made it through it. You know, uh, it's kind of like, you know, watching Corey and Cynthia. 
um, their videos. Poor Cynthia, you know, I feel that heartache. I see it with the things that she's battling and going through and trying to do to um, overcome, you know, missing, just missing her children. And man, that's that's tough. And I myself struggle with a little bit with that, missing uh, one of my oldest son, you know. Uh, I might have briefly said it once or twice, but I lost my older son two, three years ago to a motorcycle accident. Him and his girlfriend, 25 years old. And man, that's tough, let me tell you. It's, it's a tough thing to battle with. But, you know, I get through it and there's days that are tough, days that are easy, and you know, but I always have that memory and that thought in my in my mind and, and in my soul that you know I've lost my boy, but you know I'm I just got to keep going. You know God's got other plans for me, and every day's a new day, and you take it as it comes and you deal with it and you keep going. And that's my motto. But um, yes, sir. Anyway, again, this is kind of just a rambling, quick video upshot with you guys to let y'all know I'm out here still. Um, not as productive as I'd like to be. You know, um, those boys that do this day in and day out, Jared and Jason and, and some of those other folks, it's a full-time job, YouTube. And I mean, like they said, and... You know, you got filming, and you've got editing, and then you got to post it, and all that time to upload it, and and on top of that, to create and perform the content they're filming. That's you got to be they're they're consistent too, and my hats off to them, and I appreciate what they do. I enjoy what they do, and I continue to watch them and to learn from what they do, and that's. I think that's the name of the game and I love it that they promote it and they encourage others to do the same. So look forward to shoot dang fest, to meeting them guys in person, meeting a lot of you guys in person. Hopefully all those that can make it, hopefully we run into each other and cross paths. That's, I look forward to that, that weekend out there and that'll be great. And I'm going to bring some of my merchandise. I'm going to bring some of my hats and shirts and whatnot. So Hopefully some of you guys are interested in it and I'm going to have some different styles and but um I'm going to probably be making some of that soon and and I'm going to carry you along with me as I make it just so some of y'all can see how it's done, what's done and um if you choose to do some of it yourself or you know you're looking to I know Buck was sent out a little video of the other day needed help and and you know, when you get into that stuff, you don't want to overload yourself and buy a bunch of stuff that you're not going to get rid of because then you got to set on it. And then you got to either give it away or sell it dirt cheap. And that stuff's not cheap. No, sir. Buying multitude bulk of t-shirts and, and getting your screen prints and your transfers and your hats and, you know, that stuff. Ain't, I buy it wholesale and it's still not cheap, but, um, you know, there's, and there's such a small profit margin within that, but you know, it is what it is and it keeps me busy and occupied and make a little money, um, classified as having a business. Um, there's, there's a lot of benefits to it, even though you're not making a fortune, but there's a lot of benefits to it and, you know, tax purposes and write-offs and, and all of that good stuff. That's, that's where a lot of it especially when you're young, you know, it's, this is just a couple year old, um, business that I have that's a couple years, but you know, it, it's, it's like YouTube. You keep working and you keep pounding and you keep just staying at it and it grows. So, and mine's growing and I could grow it faster. I don't market, but, um, you know, if I did, I'm quite certain that, um, I'd be a lot busier than I am, and I'd like to get it that way. I just, I'm walking that fine line of having a full-time career job that requires a lot of my time and no, yeah, I have a schedule, but a set schedule, but it don't always work on that set schedule. I could be called out at any time, day or night, and um, that's just part of it. But you know, older I get, the 
the more I'm starting to thinking, you know, well, I don't know how much more I can do this stuff because I am getting older. You know, I'm in my mid fifties, and and that's I'm still young enough to do it, but I'm getting tired of it, and especially after the current situation we've had with um you know the pandemic and all of that that's that's taken a toll on a lot of folks and it's driven a lot of folks out of that profession as well but that's that's part of it you know we all got to work we all got to survive provide and we all have bills to pay and all of that good stuff so got to keep going until either you make something different something better or you just fight through it and keep chugging along but anyway guys i just wanted to put this up and out there let you guys know old pooch is out here with fbc and kind of been getting a few grumblings from one of my long lost cousins out there and he's making a little grumblings on a few things and he's liable to show up now i don't know what it'll all be about i can't say but I've heard from him, and there's a few things that he ain't happy with. And but he's he's liable to get out there and and raise a ruckus on a couple things here soon. So y'all might want to stay tuned for that because he's liable to call a few people out himself. And you know, it is what it is. But some of uh, what I've heard from him, it it's um might be warranted. You never know. We'll see. But anyway, guys, I'm going to check on out of here. I got a cold snack to drink and do a little learning on some editing. So um, y'all have a good night. Hopefully all this next phase of winter blast don't cause all kinds of destruction and damage and heartache. But um, I'll catch you again soon. And y'all be sure and leave me a comment and hit that like button and let me know let me know if i can help you in any way reach out and say hi but until then y'all have a good night yes sir